Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're taking a trip all the way down to Saudi Arabia to visit the Jeddah Street Circuit. The track is characterized by its high speed straights, tight corners and bumpy road surface. The first half features several tight corners that require drivers to brake hard and maintain control of their throttle. The second half mainly consists of multiple long straights that require drivers to maintain high speeds and take advantage of slipstreaming opportunities while avoiding the walls all around them. Today we're gonna see how we can improve our lap times at this track and analyze our driving using the Track Titan platform where you can analyze your own driving for free and gain some extra insights and tips if you sign up using code JEDA. The first half of the circuit has quite some tight turns in which you must control the traction expertly, while the second half requires bravery and pinpoint precision to keep up the speed while navigating the winding Jetta streets. After the start finish straight we're immediately met with one of the heaviest braking zones on the track. It's crucial that you keep your car as far to the right as possible before trailing off the brakes and entering the corner combination. During the left and right hander it is vital that you control the throttle like a surgeon. Short shifting up can help you a whole lot to alleviate this danger. After this we can already be somewhat more brave and shortly break for turn 4 where we chuck the car into the corner and gradually build up the speed again to make our way through the winding set of turns up ahead. Again it is vital to control the throttle and not hammer it down or we risk overshooting these corners. And you also gotta be careful on the curbs as they can greatly unsettle your car as you could see in the footage. Then we're coming to the halfway point in turn 13 in which we can brake late and keep up our minimum speed for its full duration. We gotta be careful on the throttle out of here as we still don't want to spin the car out and then it's time to be brave. Full throttling to turn 16 where we dab on the brakes to squeeze ourselves around the following corners. Then we're quickly back on full throttle again all the way down to turn 22 where we give it an old dab of the brakes again and here we want to keep our speed as high as possible while avoiding putting ourselves in the wall because we can open it up again all the way to the final hairpin. We still got to be careful on the throttle through this corner as a little bit too much can easily make us spin out and again short shifting is our friend here. And in this way we can nicely drive our car back to the finish line. We can still improve a lot at this track. First of all by eliminating the little mistakes as taking too much curb or over throttling out of turn 13. But besides these mistakes there's still some driving habits that we can analyze using the Track Titan platform. Using the new Track Titan Quick Tips functionality we can identify how we can fix our mistakes almost instantly. When we take a look at turn 22 in segment 6, we're met with a quick tip notification that states that our top speed is way too low here. When we backtrack a little bit through the analysis, we can actually see the root of this problem in the braking for turn 16. We brake way too much here, creating a speed difference of almost 30 kilometers an hour. So we immediately know where we can focus our efforts during our next practice session. Another interesting quick tip we've gotten is at the end of the lap, for the last hairpin. When we check out the racing line here, we can see that we are actually turning in too early, which results in us having to slow down more for this hairpin than is needed if we would take a wider line into it. Now these tips don't cover every mistake I've made yet, but they are a great starting point if I want to actually improve my driving immediately. We hope you've learned something new about Jedi in this video. Let us know in the comments down below. Check out the Track Titan platform if you want to analyze your own sim racing. And we hope to see you in the next video.